Hey guys, Lyra Lynx here. I cannot believe that I haven't already read this fanfiction yet. Because <laughs> I feel like this this is just something. So let me preface this by saying that I wrote this fanfiction in collaboration with D Master XD, as it says in the little description, and I used to think that Conway was like such a creepy character and he had like these stalkerish vibes and so we just kind of rolled with that and made this whole story about it. It was originally in a script format between the two of us and I just very quickly changed the format into like actual story so it's not highly descriptive or anything. It's not going to read very well. But I kind of just really want to read this one. I'm probably going to eventually end up going through all of my old fanfiction, but I really wanted to do this one because I feel like it's going to be funny, weird, crazy. I can't remember all the details of it. I just remember that it, it got weird. So I'm in the mood for something weird. These chapters are kind of short, I believe. All of them are. Yeah. And it's only 10 chapters, so... We are just going to dive straight into it with chapter one. A certain green-haired geeky trainer peered through the bushes at the beautiful brunette he had a crush on. Conway smiled, locked on target, recording her every move. Conway looked away, scribbling something down in his notebook, then looked back up at her. Conway pulls out a camera, deciding to document this on tape. Conway sighed longingly. Oh, Dawn, my blue-haired beauty. With just a few stinful steps, you will be mine. Smiles creepily. I like how I don't actually, you know, write something for that. It's still like it would be in a script a little bit. I guess I do have some of that formatting left, so until then, these videos will have to suffice. Dawn turned around. Who's there? Conway quickly runs up into a tree. Don shrugged her shoulders, not noticing anything strange. Conway sighed in relief. I also like how I go between present and past tense annoyingly. Conway sighed once more. Someday that blue hair of yours will be wrapped around my finger. Licks his lips. Like I said, weird. As Don walked home, Conway secretly followed her. Once she was in her bedroom, she started to get changed. Conway was staring at her through the window. Come on, give me something sexy, my dear, laughed Conway. Just as she was about to take off her shirt, Don pulled it back down. She walked over to her window and closed the blinds, not seeing Conway. Yeah, you can see here where I missed adapting it. Wouldn't want any creeper staring at me while I change, said Don. Conway falls down from the window ledge. Conway groaned. Ow! Man, that really hurt. But not as much as my heart. So you think you can get away from me that easy, do you, Don? I think not. Conway goes to get a ladder and comes back to Don's house. He climbs up and starts heading down the chimney. Conway laughed. Ha! You will be mine. He snuck into Don's room, which was currently vacant, and went over to one of her drawers. Conway smiled in anticipation. What does my sweet Dawn have for me in here? He eventually finds a small pink book, her diary. Conway looked at it curiously. Oh, and what dirty secrets might we have in here? As Conway looked through the diary, skimming through stuff about fashion and contests, he noticed something different. Conway soon found something. Huh? What do we have here? A poem. Reads the poem. Stalker? Uh, I'm not a stalker, am I? No, this couldn't possibly be about me. But there's still some stuff in this diary. It's fascinating. Just then, Conway heard footsteps echoing through the hall. Conway gasped. Oh no, if Dawn catches me, she'll get a restraining order on me. Then how will I observe her? Conway thought quickly and jumped in the closet, hiding under layers of clothing. He couldn't help but inhale her sweet scent. Ah, oh, Dawn. Dawn walks into her room. Dawn breathed out. Phew, what a day. 
I better get some shut-eye. After a couple minutes, when Dawn was fast asleep, Conway takes one of her scarves and stuffs it into his pocket. Then he carefully opens the closet door. Conway whispered, Oh, what a beauty. And now she's asleep. I'll have her all to myself soon. Conway stroked Dawn's face tenderly, trying not to wake her up. He placed a mini robot on her dresser. Conway smirked. That robot has a camera in it, so I'll be able to view you 24-7. Conway unlatched the window and opened it. Thrusting himself over to the tree outside of it, he ran home, satisfied with himself, at least for today. So as I said, this is very strange. I was really young writing fan fictions, honestly, so I always wonder how I got into such themes as this, but you know, my mom has always been the type who is interested in investigation discovery, stalkers, kidnappers, murders, basically. I mean, I kind of like to watch documentaries and stuff about that now, so I guess it was an early interest for some reason. But this is super weird to look back on. It's just weird. <laughs> Fanfiction didn't allow a script formatting, so I had to kind of change it, so there are a couple mistakes, but honestly, compared to some of my other fanfictions, these typos aren't annoying me as much. So. Let's look at the reviews for chapter one. Oh, for the love of Pete, Conway makes Brock look chaste. Indeed. <laughs> he does. If you think Brock is thirsty, I made Conway a yandere in this. <laughs> Crown the goldfish. The fuck is going on? OMG, Conway. Yeah, for real. I don't know what's going on either. And I apparently wrote this <laughs> in collaboration with another person, mind you, so I was not the only crazy one. Akito Sota. Is that supposed to be Soma instead, as a reference to Fruits Basket? Anyway, sings happily, because he's a stalker. He's everywhere she turns. He's a stalker. When will she ever learn he's a stalking her? Yeah, that basically sums up the whole thing. Musical Nostalgia. Oh my god, a yandere, partly. Conway. Just unique story, and great end too. Although not great for poor Conway, it was interesting. Love it. I wonder if they wrote this review after reading the whole thing? Maybe. But, uh, T.P. Burr. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. So, well, that was funny. That's one way to put it. Fennekin fan. Oh god, he's creepy. Conway creeps me out. For some reason, even as a kid, I thought that he was a very strange character. So, can you blame me? Can you really blame me for this? Red Hood Lover. That was hilarious. Great job, you two. Monday the Trainer. Interesting. D Master XD. Yay, can't wait to see what people think of this. I was very excited to see, too. Conway's just one of those weird characters that I feel like you can write interesting things about. So, the story is literally just called Stalker. I, <laughs> I love it. It's great. I'm actually really excited to go through and read this one. I, I just feel like it's going to get really messed up and I'm going to question my younger self a lot and be like, what the hell? How did I write this when I was 13? But anyway... I hope that you guys enjoyed <laughs> this trip down memory lane for me. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. I also love reading comments from people and I don't mind taking suggestions for videos if there's anything in particular you guys want to see or are waiting to see from me. And I really hope to see you guys in another video. Goodbye.